James Kaufman, World News Report Today. Today is September 17th, 2023, 3 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, NASA has just released a press briefing, and I'm just going to read it. We all know this because we're predicting it quicker than they can. One chronal mass ejection just hit Earth. As predicted, a chronal mass ejection grazed Earth's magnetic field on September 17th at 2.46 UTC time. Although its weak impact did not spark a full-fledged geomagnetic storm, the chronal mass ejection did create some auroras. Strong aurora borealises were filmed as far south as Wisconsin. They just cannot hide those aurora borealises from us, can they? And the radiation that's hitting us. I bet they wish they could. Another coronal mass ejection is coming. A huge magnetic filament erupted on the 16th of September, hurling a coronal mass ejection almost directly towards Earth. You're seeing that right here in Lasco. Now, I showed you guys this when it occurred on the 16th. And I guesstimated that we would see impact around the 18th. They disagree. We'll see who's correct. NOAA and NASA models agree that the coronal mass ejection should hit Earth's magnetic field on September 19th. NOAA says early on on the 19th. NASA says late on the 19th, which gives us a sense of the uncertainties in their respective forecasts. The impact could spark a G1 minor geomagnetic storm or a G2 class moderate geomagnetic storm. During a similar G2 storm on September 12th, auroras were photographed in multiple U.S. states as far south as Colorado and Missouri. We think it could happen again this week. With that said, I did, in fact, forecast this first CME being from one of the M flares to impact on the 16th. Now, technically, where I'm at, this happened on the 16th, but UTC time-wise, it looks like it happened closer to 2 UTC time-wise, the CME impact, and it went over 15, 16 centimeters cubed, a decent CME, and lasted for quite, there's a 17, quite a long time here, continues ongoingly, for several hours and then subsides around 9 UTC time. Now what time did this happen? 2 UTC time is 9 p.m. last night my time. So we got hit central time 9 p.m. on the 16th like I forecast but if we're using UTC time we got hit at 2 UTC time on the 17th today. So I did guess late on the 16th uh, it's arguably correct. It's arguably incorrect. You'll have to make your own decision. It was 9 o'clock here, centrally, when it hit. But it did last for several hours. Uh, that's going to be lasting till around 2 a.m. From 9 p.m. last night to 2 a.m., we had a fairly, fairly powerful coronal mass ejection off of one of the end flares that was directly Earth-facing. We seem to cover everything before they do, and we are prepared for another impact tomorrow while as they are waiting for the 19th. God bless you guys. Share, subscribe, and always remember that anything's possible. Bizarro world.